And welcome back to Who In. And just as a note, as this is the only video I'm doing today, uh, it's my birthday. So, you know, um, happy birthday to me. Woo. <laughs> I don't know. There's no real reason for me to say it, but, you know, I figured I'd just like, yeah, it's, uh, it's my birthday. Whatever. Uh, I don't, sadly, I don't have any real strong plans, nor do I really want to have any re really strong plans. I've hit that point in my life, I'm now 31, that ah, surprise parties, big events, all that's like, yeah, let's go out and do something. Can I just sit here and do nothing? That's kind of nice, too. I, I will go out later, because I actually have some things I want to do, and probably catch a movie or something. Um, I do still want to see come play. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I still had a hood one to do, so I figured gonna do the hood one regardless. Uh, this one comes to us from Lewis, and I believe I got the name right off the top of my head. Pauline? Pauline? Uh, Lewis Pauline, I believe that was the name. Who asked the question, who would win in the fight? Lois Griffin or Francine Smith? Um, so these two, actually, these two universes have crossed over on occasions. Uh, American Dad's been in a Family Guy once or twice. Uh, Family Guy's been in American Dad once or twice. At least. So, um, yeah, no, this is something that could very well easily happen if they ever do a true crossover. Uh, so, I mean, they're the, both the, they're the, <laughs> they're both the terrible housewives of their respective, uh, shows. Um, I will say this, Francine is, in terms of just being a mother, Francine is probably the, she's still fucked up, but she's probably the better mother than Lois is, because when you look at how Stewie, Meg, and Chris turned out, uh, Haley and Steve are far better, um, far more well-adjusted comparatively. Uh, they're still effed up. They're still completely effed up. If just in their own different way. Like, but when you actually compare the three to the two, the two are far more sane, competent, could probably lead more rational lives than the other three. <laughs> um, also, Francine really doesn't have as many problems as Lois does, although... The problems Francine has are kind of the, like breastfeeding Steve until he's in his teens. Like what? <laughs> like that. So I mean, it kind of evens out. Like Lois has more overall problems, but Francine, to be fair, some of her problems are a bit more on the higher end. <laughs> um, so it kind of evens out. But in terms of an actual fight, if these two were to somehow meet in a fight, who would win? Well, let's look at it, what skill bases they both bring. Let's look at Francine first. Francine, because her husband is in the, uh, in the CIA, Francine does actually know her way around a firearm. Is she like a master marksman? Like, um, uh, well, Stan's not even a master marksman. Is she a co as competent a marksman as someone like Stan is? No, she's not. Does she need to be? No, she doesn't. Uh, but no, she's a competent marksman. Uh, she's definitely got her wild side as she had her groupie phase. Uh, unfortunately, after I get past that point, it starts to, I start to uh, struggle about what are Francine's actual skills in terms of like being a combatant, in terms of about being a fighter, because we don't see her in physical combat almost ever. Not to say she can't like, you know, pull out, um, <laughs> sorry, I just think about when Santa was going to kill them cornered them in the sleigh, and they're making basically the uh, sharpened sticks out of the candy canes, and Haley does like, Haley, good for you. It's like, and Princey's like, needs enough, I can do it. It's like, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, but they were all able to, you know, physically assault elves and stuff like that, so that, that doesn't really translate much into an actual hand-to-hand -hand fighter. Uh, going to Lois, Lois, I mean, if we really can't figure out their personalities, Lois is actually the one who's much more prone to aggression and violence than Francine is, as we saw when she um, learned Taekwondo. <laughs> I believe it was, yeah, I believe it was, no, was it Taekwondo or Jiu-Jitsu? It wasn't Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, no, it was Taekwondo, because I, I had to remember what Bonnie was like. And Jiu-Jitsu, Jiu-Jitsu, Jiu-Jitsu is a bit more of a grapple style. Uh, but, but that's not what Lois learned. I'm pretty sure that what she was learning was Taekwondo. Um, so we already know Lois has a black belt in Taekwondo. She hasn't used it since that episode. Pretty certain she hasn't. Uh, unless, uh, she's also wrestled animals to the ground to get, like, she wrestled that dog to the ground to get Rupert back from, uh, the, from the dog's mouth and pried the dog's mouth open. Uh, now I think Francine's probably done something similar to that, but, mm, um, 
We know she's also uh, got experience with the drug trade because she's, you know, knew the price of uh, got a certain amount of cocaine <laughs> that Brian had pulled in when he was a cop. So she does have some seedy background, similar to Francine. Both have been kleptos, but Francine's been the more successful of the clep of the uh, thieves between the two. Um, trying to think a few of the um, other ones. She's a few of her other. Um, <clears throat> um, other, think words here, uh, Feats, Feats was the term I was looking for, uh, because the Family Guy, it's just a long history when it comes to Family Guy, um, I'll be, I mean, take that out of the, take all that out of the equation, there's, there's not much else that Lois brings, to, uh, to be fair, actually, no, gotta take that back, there, we got to, we got to address, granted, it wasn't a real scenario, it was Stewie's you know, looking at the hypothetical scenario play out, we got to address Stewie going to kill Lois, which basically ha turned her into Rambo, and <laughs> shows that not only was she capable of wielding firearms, she was capable of no, uh, capable of wielding a lot of firearms effectively. <laughs> she had, I believe, she had shotguns, she had a uh, handgun, she had a Gatling gun, she had um, a shotgun and a rifle. She knew how to use a knife as well. Uh, so, yeah, she, honestly, honestly, yeah, even though that was a, um, a scenario, a simulation, it was a simulation that basically was illustrating the real world, that uh, real life consequences of what Stewie was about to do. So, in theory, had that, had Stewie, had Stewie gone through what he did, that is what would have happened according to that simulation, which means Lois should be capable of doing what she did in that simulation. So if these two met in combat, uh, honestly, neither of these, oh, and if, if these women started to duke it out, they wouldn't be having weapons on. They would just be a physical fight. If they had weapons on them, Lois has actually now shown that she's the more confident with firearms, too. But let's get it down to just the physical confrontation. These two duke it out. Francine probably does know how to fight. I think we've probably seen a few incidents where she can fight to some degree, but she's not a master uh, black belt of anything. She's probably just got, you know, some fighting capabilities because she's had some seedy backgrounds. Um, not seedy. She's had had a, a bit of a wild side background to some degree. And, um, uh, and she, again, she lives and uh, is married to a CIA agent. So she probably has some panda and training, maybe. Uh, it's just, I don't, I can't recall what, uh, if uh, Francine knows how to fight or not, unfortunately. But we know for a fact Lois does, and is a master martial artist, beating even her sensei in a straight-out fight. So, yeah, so that's basically just going to be our France. And the question is, who's going to be the aggressor? Given their personalities, you might think Lois, and I even say Lois has the more anger-prone te tendencies. But uh, in terms of, like, someone who's more willing, more about to start something, I'd actually say it'd be Francine. Because, honestly, Francine... Comes off as the dumber of the two. She comes off as just not the brightest. She's not the dumb. She, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say she's stupid. She's not stupid. She's not perpetuating the dumb blonde stereotype. But it's clear when you compare them. Lois, despite making some bad choices and because of writing, can come off a little dumb now and then. It's clear Francine is the more consistently naive and idiotic. I guess it's the best way to put it. So. If, they, if Francine's the aggression, maybe she, maybe they're fighting over a turkey or something. That seems realistic in that kind of scenario, especially the way the writers would probably make it. Uh, Francine just, <laughs> Francine maybe just uh, pushes. Like, it's like, what you gonna do about it? It's like, I'm, I'm gonna give you one chance. Don't, don't do that. You'll walk away, uh, walk away and find another turkey. My, my Lois is like a high pitched Peter. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, it's like, I said, what you gonna do? And Lois just. <laughs> Ah, breaks her arms and just starts beating the ever-loving crap out of her. That's the real problem here, is that while Lois is the more aggressive personality between the two, Francine would be the instigator, but Lois would be the more inclined to actually use physical violence. So, yeah, I... And because Lois is a legit mastered martial artist... Francine can't c compete with that. Even if for some reason we brought firearms into the equation and they both had like a full arsenal that they've had at their peak in the series, 
Lois would completely blow Francine away. She again, she I believe she had actually a bazooka too. Now that I'm thinking about it, she had a bazooka, she had a handgun, she had a Gatling gun. I believe she had a shotgun, she had a rifle. If not, if I'm not mistaken, she had she had a knife, she had uh, grenades, she had everything, and she knew how to use it. So. Yeah, I, I gotta go Lois in this fight myself. Um, it'd be a fun fight to watch. I'd watch it. I'd watch Stan versus Peter. Or we watched Homer versus Peter. And ultimately, Peter actually won that fight. I mean, no one died, granted. But um, Peter won that fight. So, uh, I'm not saying Lois, uh, Family Guy's initially better. Like, if you put um, Stan versus Lois, I'd be more inclined to say Stan. Because he's an actual CIA agent and has access to everything. Um... But I would, I would, yeah, I would probably say um, Lois win this fight uh, outright, quite frankly. But what do you think? I mean, I'm probably missing some stuff with Francine. I acknowledge that. Um, so, if, and I might, I'm probably missing stuff with Lois, too, just because those shows have been going on for a while now. Family Guy particularly has been going on for quite a while. Um, so, let me know in the comments below if you think Francine would win. And if you do, why is that? Uh, or if you agree with me and Lois wins, why do you think that? Put that in the comments below, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, who wants to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Now, ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Superhero, Magic, what if, anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. So, thanks for watching. Hit that bell for more notifications. I will see you tomorrow for what if. So, later, folks.